In this video, we'll be talking about the ambiguous case of the law of signs. Now, the word ambiguous just means having several possible meanings. The law of signs is ambiguous when you're given two sides and an acute angle opposite one of them. From geometry, you remember we have theorems like side, side, side to prove that two triangles are congruent, side, angle, side, angle, side, angle. But there was never a theorem with two sides and an angle opposite one of those sides. So for this case, when this happens, the number of triangles may be none, one, or two. To solve this type of triangle, set up your law of sines and solve it to find your second angle. If a math error occurs, then no such triangle occurs. And the math error that will occur will be what happens when your sign is more than one or less than negative one. The second angle may also be the supplement of the angle found in step one. So after you find uh, this angle from step one, assuming that you do find one, then subtract this angle from 180 to see if you may possibly have a second triangle. Note, if an angle is obtuse, then the side opposite that angle must be the biggest side. If it's not, then no such triangle exists. All right, our first example, we're asked to solve triangle ABC. If angle C is 82 degrees, A is 11 and C is 7. Now you'll notice that angle C and side C are given along with another side. So this is the case where we may possibly have no triangles, one triangle or two triangles because I have an angle side side. So let's set up our law of signs. We have A is to the sine of A as C is to the sine of C. So if we put in our numbers, this is A is 11 is to the sine of angle A. I don't know that, so I'll just put the variable. And then C is 7 is to the sine of C, which is 82 degrees. Now we're going to solve this as any others. We'll just do cross multiplication. So we have 7 times the sine of angle A that's this cross product, equals 11 times the sine of 82. And then divide both sides by 7 so that these cancel. And I have sine of A is equal to Make sure we're in degrees. Yeah, the little D right there indicates degrees. So open up my numerator. 11 sine 82. Close my numerator. Divided by 7. 1.5. Now, since this sign is more than one, remember that the sign can only be a number 
between negative 1 and positive 1. Since this number is more than 1, then we're going to get an, a math error when we do our inverse sine. Let me show that to you. Inverse sine that answer. We get our math error. So we would just write no triangle exists. The note for you is that the sine of a must be between negative 1 and positive 1. Do another one. Okay, again we're given one angle and two sines, and this angle is across from the side a. So we'll set up our law of sines. Side A is to the sine of angle A as side C is to the sine of angle C. Do our cross multiplication. So 110 times the sine of C is equal to 54 times the sine of 88. Divide both sides by 110. These will cancel. I have sine of C is equal to 54 times the sine of 88 divided by 110. So 54, let's open our numerator. 54 times the sine of 88. Close the argument and close the numerator. Divided by 110. So I have the sine of angle C is equal to Point four nine zero six. Now this time the sign is within the range that we need it to be. So to find angle C, we need to do an inverse sign of this number. Um, don't clear it out of your calculator because you don't want the rounding error. Just do a shift sign. That's your inverse sign. And then um, find the key that pulls up the answer. So A and S. And then hit enter. And we see that the measure of angle C is approximately 29.5. 38. Okay, now I'm not going to clear that because once you find this angle, we already have one angle, angle A, and then this is our second angle. Um, this the third angle of this triangle will be called angle B. And that angle will be 180 minus these two. So let's add these two together. 29.38 plus 88. And then subtract that from 180. So it looks like angle B will 
we added angle A plus angle C and then subtracted that number from 180 and we got 62.62 .62. Now, we might also have a second triangle, so we need to check that. Um, what we want to do is find the supplement of angle C. So we take 180 minus 29.38, and that's 150.62. And then in order, in order to get our triangle, we need to take the 88 and add the 150.62. This is more than 180. Therefore, only one triangle. Now we have our three angles for this triangle. We have two sides, so we still need to find our third side. So we'll set up our other ratio here. Uh, we're given side A and side C, so we need to find side B still. And um, angle B we said was 62.62. .62. So sine 62.62. So we can do uh, B sine 88. Equals 110 sine 62. Divide both sides by sine of 88. These will cancel, and I have side B is equal to 2. I need to open my numerator. Close the argument and close the numerator and then divide it by the sine of 88. So side B is about 98. 